Hello all, welcome to EC Electronics. So in this video, we are going to discuss about thermistors. We'll be discussing uh, the structure and uh, the working of thermistors. We'll be also discussing the caras and towards the end, I'll be uh, sharing with you some important questions connected with the thermistor topic. Okay, so let's see about thermistors. If you found the video useful, please do give it a thumbs up and also share with your friends and also subscribe to the channel. Okay, so let's see about thermistors. So in today's class, we are going to discuss about thermistors. So thermistors means it is an abbreviation or uh, it is a contraction of thermal resistors. So these are resistors which are depending on temperature. So the temperature dependent resistors are called thermistors. Okay. So it is actually a special type of resistor whose resistance value is depending on the temperature. And their major areas of application are they are used in current limiters. They are used in temperature sensors. That is in order to find the temperature or measure the temperature and you will get a corresponding resistance value. And hence you can convert that to current or any other variable possible. Okay. So temperature sensors, then self-regulating heating elements and self-resetting over current protectors. So these are the various areas in which the thermistors are used or they are the applications. Now the range of a thermistor, the temperature ranges from minus 55 degrees Celsius to 150 degrees Celsius, minus 55 to plus. Okay, Then the resistance is ranging from 0.5 ohm to 0.75 mega ohm and the symbol of the thermistor is like this. Okay, So this is the introduction to a thermistor. Now we are going to see the various type of thermistors and the various shapes and the structures and also we'll be discussing some important questions connected to this thermistor topic okay so next we are going to see the type of thermistors next we are going to discuss about the type of thermal resistors or thermistors so we have uh, discussed that here the resistance is depending on temperature now whether the resistance is dropping or uh, increasing with the temperature Based on that, these thermistors can be classified as two. That is, the devices with positive temperature coefficient and the thermistors with negative temperature coefficient. Actually, this, uh, this thermistors with positive temperature coefficient are another category of devices which is called sensors. Okay. And Generally, when we talk about thermistor means they are only having NTC that is negative temperature coefficient. So, the negative temperature coefficient means when the temperature is increasing, the resistance will reduce or it will decrease. That is a inverse proportionality is there or inverse relationship is there between the temperature and resistor. So, when we generally talk about thermistor means they are only having NTCs. But here, also, there is a relation between temperature and resistance, but they are direct relationship. When the temperature is increasing, the resistance will also increase. And hence, they are said to have PTC or positive temperature coefficient of resistance. Here, negative temperature coefficient of resistance means there is an inverse proportionality here and a direct proportionality here. And these devices are generally called as sensors. Okay. And these devices are generally called as thermistors. So, there is separate naming. When we generally say thermistor means they are NTCs only. Okay. Now, again, this PTC, generally they are made up of metals and they are used in resettable fuses and series with the circuit to protect over current conditions. Okay. So, these are the uses of PTCs or sensors and for thermistor, they are generally made up of manganese, nickel, cobalt or generally they are made up of actually semiconductors because semiconductors have negative temperature coefficient of resistance. We know that uh, the semiconductors are having NTC or negative temperature coefficient. So generally for making thermistors as we require NTC or negative temperature coefficient, we use semiconductors only. Then. They are used in temperature sensors. So, these thermistors are generally used for constructing of temperature sensors or for uh, measuring the temperatures and also in series with the current limiters. Okay. So, these are the two classifications of 
the thermal resistors one is having positive temperature coefficient and another is having negative temperature coefficient here the device is called sense sister here it is called thermistor only okay now there is another category of devices which is called rtd or resistance temperature detectors they are also having positive temperature coefficient of resistance but if you see the relation between the temperature and resistance it is a linear relationship but here for these two cases there is actually a non linear relation between the temperature and resistance okay so these are the categories of devices ptcs and ntcs okay next we are going to see the various structure of thermistors okay next we are going to see the various structures or shapes of thermistors they are of bead shaped disc shaped prop shaped and rod shaped okay so to all these shapes there are two leads connected so these are actually resistors which are which are depending on temperature so that is the only difference between the normal type of resistors and these thermistors okay and there are various shapes also available for them there is a bead structure which is the smallest one and this is a disc structure okay so there is a glass coating here this is also glass coated and there is prop structure there is a rod structure so these are the various shapes for thermistors next we are going to see the relations between voltage current current and time and the various characteristics of thermistors so next we are going to see the relation between the temperature and resistance in case of a thermistor okay so we are considering only ntc here the graph drawn here is for ntc means the device is having negative temperature coefficient of resistance okay so this is this is for ntc so there is a non linear relation between the temperature and resistance what happens when the temperature is increasing means the resistance is actually decreasing okay so that's why the curve is dropping downwards the resistance is decreasing as the temperature is increasing and the relation between the temperatures and the resistance is given like this consider that the temperature is changing from t not or t0 to t then consider also that at t0 the resistance is r0 okay so what will be the resistance at t the temperature has changed from t0 to t the resistance at t0 is r0 so the re new resistance will be r equal to r0 e raised to beta into 1 by t minus 1 by t0 where beta is a beta is a constant which is depending on the structure or the material and the value of beta is ranging from 3500 to 4500 and also you can write r is equal to r infinity small r infinity e raised to beta by t where r infinity is equal to r0 e raised to minus beta by t0 okay so this is the important relation and in order to write in terms of temperature the equation for temperature is equal to beta by ln r by r infinity where r is equal to r infinity raised to beta by t by r infinity so this is the relation for or the relation between the temperature and resistance for a thermistor that is we are talking about ntcs or negative temperature coefficient of resistance now if it is for ptc how will be the the structure or how will be the graph it will be like this that is the temperature as the temperature is increasing the resistance will also increase again there is a non linear relation but for the case of rtds or resistance temperature detectors there is actually a almost real, a linear relation so that is the difference between thermistors and rtd rtd or resistance temperature detectors there is a linear relation between the temperature and resistance okay so as the temperature is increasing the resistance is also increasing but the curve is linear but here you can see that the curve is non linear okay so that is the relation between the temperature and resistance for the case of a thermistor so next we are going to see the cara of current voltage relation and current time relation so for current voltage relation or voltage 
current kara so this is actually the voltage current kara okay voltage current kara is like this okay here you can see that as the current is increasing the voltage is increasing but after reaching an ambient temperature what happens is that the voltage will drop the current will go on increasing so after a particular temperature the resistance will drop okay so the resistance will drop and the current will increase but the voltage is decreasing so this is the current voltage current kara now coming to the current time kara here as the time is increasing the current is increasing initially there is a linear relation and the current is then settling and these values various settling values or the various parallel lines of the current axis these current values are actually depending on various voltages so if we vary the voltage we can vary the these current values okay and also you can see that here for this region there is a linear relation between the current and the voltage so it is actually obeying ohm's law in this region but after this ambient temperature what is happening the current is increasing but the voltage is keeping on dropping so it is not following the ohm's law there okay so that is the voltage current kara and the current time kara next we are going to see some important questions connected to the thermistor so on an exam point of view these questions are actually very important so after studying the basics you should concentrate more on the questions okay so next we are going to see some questions that can come from the thermistor area i'm going to see the questions from thermistors questions you can see on the board okay so i'll read out the first question the thermistor is a contraction of dash a thermal resistor b laser resistor c electric resistor d mechanical resistor correct answer is option a it is a contraction of thermal resistor okay correct answer is option a next question second question is thermistors have dash a positive temperature coefficient b negative temperature coefficient c zero temperature coefficient d infinite temperature coefficient so the thermistors i have explained it specifically that they are having negative temperature coefficient if it is having positive temperature coefficient then the device name is called sensistor okay so here the correct answer is option b that is the thermistors have negative temperature coefficient of resistance okay so second question correct answer is b then third question change in resistance is measured using a dash a anderson bridge b wiestens bridge c hayes bridge d maxwell's bridge correct answer is option b wiestens bridge so we have discussed about wiestens bridge in a separate video in that we have explained uh, that the wiestens bridge we use for measuring the value of unknown resistance okay so to measure the resistance value we can make use of the wiestens bridge so correct answer is option b wiestens bridge moving on to the next question so the next question is thermistor material is pressed dash a under zero pressure b under low pressure c under high pressure d under low volume correct answer is we are actually making the b type of uh, thermistor and the other thermistors by pressing the material under a uh, very high pressure okay so the correct answer is option c under very high pressure we are going to press the material to the to the leads then we will be getting the thermistor so correct answer is option c next question thermistor follows which law for small variations a charles law b kvl c kcl d ohm's law so while explaining the the voltage current relation we have explained that for small values it is actually following a linear relation but after reaching an ambient temperature what happens is the voltage is dropping so that in that region it is not following the the ohm's law 
or it is not following a linear relation okay so this linear region is indicating the ohms law okay so which law it is obeying it is a ohms law correct answer is option d ohms law okay so moving on to the next question at small values of voltage a thermistor dash a reaches peak current slowly b reaches peak current immediately c does not reach peak current d reaches peak current intermediately okay so the correct answer is at small voltages the thermistor reaches peak current slowly so for small voltages the current variation is also low that is for uh, the low ranges the voltage current is increasing or that uh, graph is increasing only slowly okay so at small voltages of the thermistor the current is reaching at the peak slowly and also while seeing the graph of current and time you can see that for small values the current is increasing only very slowly okay so at small values of voltage the thermistor reaches peak current slowly correct answer is option a next question which type of temperature dependent resistor exhibits a positive temperature coefficient of resistivity the correct answer is option b anyway the options are a thermistor b sensistor c varistor d photoresistor we have explained specifically about both the devices positive temperature coefficient devices and negative temperature coefficient devices that is ptcs and ntcs so for ptc we call the device name is sensistor correct answer is option b the next question is generally the resistance of a thermistor decreases dash a exponentially with increase in temperature b linearly with increase in temperature c linearly with decrease in temperature d exponentially with decrease in temperature the correct answer is the curve is an exponential curve between the resistance and temperature and it is dropping down okay so it is exponentially it is decreasing that the resistance is decreasing exponentially with increase in temperature so this is an exponential curve okay so the resistance decreases exponentially with increase in temperature that is the relation and the correct answer is option a okay so th these are some questions which i have included from the thermistor area especially if you are preparing for some competitive examination these questions are very useful so if you found the video useful please do give it a thumbs up and also share with your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching